everyone, this is PX Mr. Collector. Welcome to another episode. Hey everyone, this is Peter. Just like I promised, LOL's in the house. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, I have not been keeping up with um, any of the latest on the doll collecting world. Um, and most is because I have been organizing my new display cases and I'm so excited about that. <laughs> it's looking great. As a matter of fact, behind me are two new detoffs. So, once I'm done organizing what I got organized, which I'm almost done, I'm so excited. I'm going to do a little um, room tour and show you what I've done. And I think you're going to get a big kick out of what's behind me. Yeah. And what's beside me, I have been staring at it for a while and I've been tempting. Do I open it? Do I not? <laughs> oh, it's been so tempting. But I decided that for now, I'm not going to open it because... I can't add more chaos to the chaos I already have around me. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm talking about Encanto. Yeah, I definitely want to get the Encanto dollhouse because I think it's really cool how it has sound effects and, you know, it's magical, right? And um, the House of Charms. So this here is the House of Charms game. And I also think that it has um, some light features as well, but it says combine your powers to keep the magic alive. <laughs> yeah, so check it out. Yeah, and the merchandising for Encanto is doing really well. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I, I have a couple of the characters, but there's some more that I want to get. And um, every time that I go check, you know, especially this one that I really want, um, not around. So, hmm. But look at that. Right? Isn't that cool? Yeah, so I thought, you know, I got to get it. I got to get it. I thought that I would regret it if I didn't. 24 charm tokens. Um, combine your powers to keep the magic alive, and it's a card game as well. And all the it has all the characters, and then the house way cool. I know, and you know, you, you see this, and you're like, How does all that fit in this little box? Yeah, so cool. I will open it one day, you'll see. Yeah, and then. You know, Ever After High. That's another collection that I I, I think I have a, a couple of uh, uh, the dolls. But I really haven't expanded on it. And um, um, and it's not because I don't want to, because I find them very interesting. Is that by the time that I got on the wagon, prices were a little on the ridiculous side. Um, so I'm little by little gradually building that, that collection as well. But I saw these, and I already have one, and these are the Forex Pixie. And this is Dira um, from Dragon Games. But how sweet is that? Yeah, and the one that I have is Featherly, which is this girl here. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, really, really cool. So I guess now you can play Dragon Games at 
foreverafterhigh.com. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, so I only need now Harlow and that set is complete. Sweet, sweet, sweet. <laughs> All right. Now, let's get down to why we're here. Oh. Okay. Months ago. Maybe a year ago? <laughs> Could be. By the way, time is flying. It's crazy. I have seen these arcade, miniature arcade games, um, Cisco, one Cisco um, compatible on Sideshow. And I went to purchase it and the doors were sold out. So forgot about it. And the next thing I know, another one came out called 1942. And um, I had to get it. I had to get it. It was pretty reasonable. But what I didn't know is that it works just like a regular arcade machine. So the fact that you could even two players could play, it's got the joystick and everything. I love that thing. And it looks great next to Marty McFly. Right? Get it? Right? So then at the same time that I'm setting this up, I saw that LOL came out with LOL, LOL um, Boys Arcade Heroes. And I have not seen any commercials about this. I have not seen any other figures. I have not seen anybody show them, um, showcase them on the videos. And I haven't opened it. But this one, I'm definitely going to open because I want to display next to the other arcade. And I think it'll be really cool to get that going. But check this out. <laughs> now, mind you, what you're seeing here, this is all packaging. All of that, which has been my hesitation of whether I want to open it or not. But I've got to see what the machine looks like. And I think it's going to be really, really cool. Um... What it does, I have no idea, but it has their six figures all together. And that's pretty cool. Yeah, so if I'm not mistaken, well, to be honest with you, I don't even know from this, which is the one that's in here. There could be seven all together because he's our... There's six here, and then this guy looks totally different. So there may be seven. I know. The boys are cave heroes. So I'm going to have to open it up to see what the deal is, and then to see if I want to get any of the other ones. I know, so creative. So, so creative. And like I said, just like um, my Rainbow High or my Shadow High now, I've never opened any of the LOL dolls or collections either. Not one. And like I said, part of it is because I don't have where to display them yet. So now I'm working in on my studio to figure out where I need to put shelves or cabinets and see how I can make that work because the good thing is that I still have some space here to do that. So we'll see. Yeah. Um, one thing that I've noticed about LOL is that all of the packaging is different. Yeah, it's um, it it. I guess depending on the line, it, it's totally different. So, so this one here is series one, and it's outrageous. Um, um, or Royal B. <laughs> right. Yeah, she's she's pretty cool. And I guess there are four altogether in this collection. So there's Lady Diva, Swag, Neonlicious, and Royal Bee. And there they are. Right? And then this here says hi, says really cute, cute, cute. Royal B. 
Yeah, and that's something I do like about the packaging, that the sleeves on the side, if you put, to put them all like a book, the design is pretty, pretty cool. So the next one that I'm gonna show you is exactly that same thing where Miss Divine, that's beautiful. Right, can you see that? Right, yeah. And then here it says, hey sis, and I love that. Right, so when you put them together, Cute, cute, cute. So this girl here is Miss Divine, and she comes with 20 surprises, and it's from the, the Queen's line. Yeah, and I think she is just special. Look at that. Let me, let me get that glare off her face. There you go. Right? <sighs> Amazing. Yeah, and the art is always beautiful on these boxes. And I believe on this collection, there are four girls as well. So there's Runway Diva, Swayze, and Prism. And there are the other three. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, the last one that I'm going to show you is ferocious and bass guitar. And I believe these are the ones that comes with a record that plays music. And this is from the Music Remix Rock. Um, that's awesome. And on this collection, there's, which is the Supersonics, there's um, Fat Girl, Ferocious, Fame Queen, and Metal Chick. And if I'm not mistaken, you can play the record. Yeah. I know. Hi. Hey, sis. Love that. Is ferocious. I know, right? Yeah, I mean, I gotta say, I mean, that is so cute when you put them all together. There. I can do this. I can do this. Look at that. Right? Adorable. Adorable. So, so good. Yeah, I I am stoked that this collection is actually growing very nicely and I cannot wait to finally be able to display some of them. So my friends, you know what I'm gonna say? That's right, you gotta subscribe. You gotta subscribe. I really appreciate you. I appreciate your comments. I appreciate your thumbs up. I appreciate you, period. So thank you so much. Have a great day and take care of yourself. See ya.